Stop worrying in order to slow aging. Don't worry, be happy, is what we usually say to comfort our friends and relatives. However, it is sometimes difficult to apply it to ourselves when things are really bothering us. Teenagers worry about schoolwork and peer recognition. Young professionals worry about career and office competition. Parents worry about their children and their future. Middle-aged people worry about jobs and finances. Even seniors worry about health. Anxiety and worry seem to accompany us everywhere at all times. We might hear the saying, worrying makes people age faster. But is there any scientific evidence? In Netherlands, a study examining the length of telomere in chromosomes to reflect the cardinal sign of aging on a group of 2,300 people with and without anxiety disorders had just reported the findings. The subjects were relatively young, averaging 41.7 years. It was reported that the people with shorter telomeres were proportional to higher degrees of anxiety scores. Years before, scientists had already found that the shorter the telomere length, the closer it is to the end of life. Another study that tracked middle-aged adults had found that people who felt socially isolated had over 200 genes that were expressed differently from those who were socially secured. Many of the genes that were turned on were involved in promoting inflammation, while other genes that were involved in protective immune responses were poorly expressed. Similar findings have been reported for other kinds of stresses, such as child abuse experience, poverty, or rejection by close friends. These kinds of gene expression changes make people more susceptible to diseases. It is suspicious that this even applies to cancer. Many people come down with cancer almost immediately after an intense stressful experience, said Dr. William Clem, senior professor of neuroscience at Texas A&M University. Even young people are not resistant to stress. Studies show that students have poor immune functions at examination times. In addition, chronic work stress is associated with higher incidence of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, depression, and other medical problems. Learning stress management would be a good solution to treat stress-induced sickness. For example, inflammatory gene expression was significantly reduced in a group of 200 women who underwent a 10-week stress management course. Exercise is another way that effectively reduces anxiety and depression, as well as improves general health. Healthy diets help too. Moreover, being active in social activities helps open our minds and hearts because social isolation is the most common source of stress for seniors. We can also find some inner peace through yoga and meditation. Now, we really need stress-free lifestyles to bring us more happy years. So don't worry, be happy.